Yeah. So, uh, you started training at 18, right? Yeah. So, what, how long were you training when you had your first fight, and how did you um, know you were ready? What uh, was your start? It was, it was two years before I had my first fight, but, you know, but the only reason why it took me two years is because um, I was hiding my, my whole amateur career from my parents because I came here from, uh, from a war-torn country and uh, you know my parents brought me here to America and now I want to be a, a fighter. That, that, was, that didn't go for them. If, if I'm coming to America uh, uh, in a place with so much opportunity, there's no way they're gonna let me fight because they looked at fighting as, as like a last resort. You tried to do this job, you failed. You tried to do another job, you failed. Now you have no other way to make money besides to actually fight for your money. That's how they view, viewed fighting. They didn't look at it as, as a sport. And so that's why it took me two years, but I was, I was ready, I believe, after um, one year. I mean, it, once I walked into the ring, the first time I saw Muay Thai on TV, I knew I wanted to fight. So, um, you know, I was more than, more than ready when, I, when that two-year mark came. And that's when I first st uh, said to myself, okay, I mean, I have to do this. And I have to just lie to my parents. And that's what I did throughout my, my, most of my amateur career. I was lying to my parents. They had no clue that I was fighting until I uh, turned professional. And I sat them down and I basically gave them an ultimatum. I said, you're either going to support me or this is the last day that you're ever going to see me. And I was ready to walk out of their lives uh, right then and there, and that was difficult for me because I love my parents, um, especially what they've done to me, what they've done for me, um, you know, by bringing me and my sister here into uh, into America. So that was difficult for me to do, but they fortunately said, "Okay, we'll, we will support you," and you know, that was it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so I got my first fight coming up in March. What do you think the most important thing is to prepare and like? Learn and get ready for it when that fight comes. Is this a Muay Thai fight? It's a, yeah, Muay Thai smoke. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, the bet, here's, here, I'll give you the, the, um, the suggestion from what, what, I've, what I've learned when I started fight, uh, watching fights. So when I started fight, uh, watching fights, um, or when I started training Muay Thai, I would go to, uh, there was a, a Thai grocery store, and they had like a wall filled with like v, uh, VHS tapes, and I would just buy like a few at a time, and I would just go home, I would just study these fights constantly. I would just watch them every single night. And, um, and then the next week I would go back, buy another set, I would go watch them. So what I, what I noticed about the Thai fighters, uh, specifically from Thailand, Thais, is how calm they were and the use of, uh, the use of teeps. Um, and then, so I said to myself, okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste. Whatever I see with them, I'm copy and pasting, and that's what I did. So when I first went into my, am my first amateur fight, that's exactly what I did. I, st I stayed ex as calm as possible. I didn't let my emotions overwhelm me. I was able to control my emotions, you know, the aspect of fear and, and pressure and things like that. And I was using a lot of teeps to, uh, to offset my opponent's rhythm and timing and things like that. And at an amateur level, level um, you know, amateur fighters can't can deal with that, with that type of attack because, and not only that, but they don't want to use uh, something like a teep because a teep isn't known uh, to create damage or, you know, a knockout. And again, as an amateur fighter, you go in there with the, with, with, with the aspect of fear and you use, it, use, use that um, in a way to try to help yourself, but some amateur fighters don't use it in the correct way. So most of these amateur fighters, they're not utilizing a teep where it's meant for you to control your opponent. They want to just use techniques out of fear, just to knock the other guy out. But, you know, if, if you think that way, then the fight is just going to turn into literally that. Just the fight. It's going to be a brawl. And there's, there's just going to be two bulls clashing in, into each other and uh, trying to create as much damage, just out of fear. But if you just change the way you think about it and say to yourself, I'm not going to have that fear, or you will have that fear, but I'm going to control that fear, but I'm going to use my teep to my advantage, and then when I can control my fighter, my opponent, then I'm going to start using more powerful techniques. That's all I did. I utilized teeps, and I stayed calm. And then after my first fight, um, the promoter actually accused me and my trainer of, uh, of lying to them, and they said that I had like, like a uh, professional career in Europe that I didn't tell them because I was able to stay calm. And that's the difference when you see, when you see amateurs fighting and pros fighting, the pros are calm because they're so used to it. They've done it so many times. Amateurs, 
they're filled with fear and they just want to go in there and knock each other out. So if you just change the way you think about that, you know, you're going to prevail in that, in that situation.